What's happening, fam? LA all movement still moving. Book and title. Lessons from a non custodial father. At Amazon Kindle Create Space. Link will be in the description box below. Lenny Williams is on the TV right now. Okay. I love you. Okay. <laughs> is pref oh, pre how, how can I say? Is preference killing relationships? Is preference harming relationships? Is preference killing dating? There you go. Is preference killing dating? And I think so. I think um, people have these preferences. And standards is one thing. If you got standards, somebody has to meet your standard. And I think that's fair. I think that's reasonable. I think that's real. But if somebody meets your standards, but that's not your preference, then I think that kills your dating options. Because if you need a person who's attract, who first of all is an adult, so let's how about this, who's self-sufficient, uh, attractive, um, intelligent, and uh, how can I put this? Responsible. How about that? Those four things, right? You need somebody like that. And you meet somebody like that and then you go, you're self-sufficient, but... I'm not going to talk to you because I want somebody who's self-sufficient but has a maybe makes a little bit more than you financially. You're doing good but you but your 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 tax bracket isn't my preference. Okay? Incompatible. Should have said compatible. Uh you know, most important compatible, right? You meet somebody who's attractive. You're attractive, but mm, mm, you're not my size. You're not my height. You're not the complexion I like. You're not. Mm, sorry, you're not my kind of girl. You know that type of shit, right? Okay. You're not. It's not my preference. Met all your standards. If they're attractive and they just not your I your your ideal in your mind, I just can't do it. Okay. You know. You're compatible with this person. But you know Yeah, we get along and it clicks and we can work together, but you know, it's just, I'm not, I don't, I prefer to get along with somebody in my mind that I think is better than you, because you're just not what I envision that I should have in my mind. Okay. <laughs> They're responsible, right? Hmm. You know, yeah, you handle your business, you're responsible, you're dependable, but hmm, I just, you know, I need somebody on a, I don't know, a higher level of responsibility. You have to really be on point. You have to be on point, on the point of on point. You have to be the 1% of on point, and that's... My preference. Yes, you met my standards, but not my preference. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you want somebody intelligent. Oh, man, we can have deep conversations. It's not just a sexual thing. You know, we can communicate and learn how to work things out together and work at different angles and have you know, in-depth moments and, and, and actually connect on a, 
higher mental level or spiritual level and you we can actually be friends and talk about topics and you, you know you you intrigue my mind but you know you're degree smart and I'm, my preference you bachelor degree smart my preference is master's degree smart but I'm really looking for you know uh, let, uh, let me see I, Albert Einstein Stephen Hawkins you know Tyson was it Neil Tyson Neil Tyson Degrassi I can, I always messed it up you know I need I need you know I need a genius <sighs> You gotta be Benjamin Banneker smart for me, you know, just, that's my preference. You know, you may have genius level intelligence, but it's not ingenious genius level intelligence, see. Because you didn't fit that, just not gonna be able to do it. Like, okay. And then, you're going out in the world looking for people. Oh, you fit the standard, but I don't like your socks. Oh, you meet all of my criteria. Mm. I don't like those label names. No, no, I don't. What? Oh, I think I found the one. That's not the hairstyle that I envisions on the one. Not my preference. <sighs> okay. Oh! And another one. Oh, man. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. That, mm. Nothing's wrong with you, but I just don't like the tone of your voice. It's just annoys me. Oh, never met you before, but I know you fit my standard and everything, but and you even fit my pref preference with other stuff, but ah, I got a new preference. I just can't. Nah. Mm -mm. It's not like you talk like Michelle or nothing. It's just whatever, however you talk, it just uh, bothers me. It's not my preference. Okay. Alright. Then you ass wake up one morning realizing you didn't shot a million people down in your mind. And shot people down that was actually talking to you. Not because they didn't meet your standard, but because they didn't meet your preference. And then you wake up and realize you fell off. <laughs> <laughs> fell off. But you still out there. Let me go get these standards. Uh, you know. I got this, I got this. How you doing? Don't nobody want to talk to your punk ass, little ugly dude. You're not my preference. And then people start losing their shit, right? You know, how dare you? You don't see all of this gloriousness? I was going to treat you right, you peasant. Am I not merciful? <laughs> By gracing your life with my presence? <laughs> and then you on a now you on the end on you know you got karma hitting you in the face with your preference, right? Hilarious. And now, you know, people are mad, upset. You know, I, I see people did things all wrong, you know. If you are everything that I've ever wanted, but you're not six feet tall, I can't fuck with you. Wow. That's probably not the best road to take. You could be everything that I've wanted, but if you don't have the biggest ass I've ever seen, can't do it. You could be everything that I've ever wanted. But 
you make seventy thousand dollars a year. The people I really want have to make at least seventy-five. Sorry. Okay. You know, oh, you are everything that I've ever wanted. But you drink milk, and I don't. That is a deal breaker. So, I think preferences are killing dating because I think sometimes it is that silly when I, when I, when, when I come across people. It is that freaking silly, really. And then when people just walk off, you're not going to... I just told you I didn't want to talk to you. You're just going to leave? Like, you're not going to fight to be in my life when I told you I didn't want you because you weren't my preference? You're not going to... You're not going to... You're really not going to... Come back and try to holler at me after I just told you no. Jesus. We out.